Hey crafters, Big D back, and this week we're going to be making stuff for the tabletop again, uh, but not a building this time and not some tiles. We're actually just going to make some dressing, uh, scatter terrain, barriers. In this case, we're making chain link fencing. Um, we're just going to need some large size popsicle sticks. So these are the big craft sticks, not the little normal size ones. We're going to use these. Uh, we're going to need some kebab skewers. Uh, your paints, your basic material, super glue. You can use hot glue. Uh, you're going to use a little bit of hot glue. You can use wood glue, but you're going to. I'm going to show you why you're going to want some super glue. And then you're going to want to get some tool. I got this roll for four bucks at Hobby Lobby. After the coupon, it was two bucks. So Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, Walmart, any place that sells this stuff. It's the stuff that they use for making tutus. It's nylon tool. You're not going to need very much of it. You can make a lot of fencing with it. So one roll is probably a lifetime supply. Um, lastly, you're going to want to get some fine wire. You can get jewelry wire. That might be a little expensive. Uh, you can get uh, very fine wire by getting one of those painting or photo hanging kits that have the stainless steel wire in the back. Uh, there's actually that cable comes apart into seven different wires, seven or eight wires, and that's fine enough. Or you can get yourself a spool of like 28 gauge garden wire, just the non-coated stuff. Um, and you'll understand all when we put it together. So get your stuff together, let's hit the table. Okay, so what we have here is what we're going to use for this project. We got some fine grade floral wire, like I said, some wire we're going to need. This stuff is really good because it's really thin, but it'll work great. Uh, we got some shish kebab skewers, uh, metal ruler. We're going to make two different kinds of fence, so I've got bases for two of them. Um, little cutter, our knife, little sanding sponge gel super glue and that tool I was talking about earlier and I got a marker just to mark some pieces where I cut so things are all the same so one of the things that we did was we based this on our miniatures so I'm using a centimeter based mat so it's kind of easy to just measure by putting it down on the base of the mat and measuring how many up it goes we're here. I want to make sure the fence is tall as the head, so four centimeters. So four centimeters will work. So our base fence will be four centimeters. We want to add a little extra. So one, two, three, four, and just a little bit down. Big thing we want to make sure is that they're all the same length. So if the other ones are a little off. We want to make sure they all end up being the exact same length. So their height has to be the same. So these two are the right length. This one's a little short. So chuck that one out. And then we're going to remeasure. So tie this one up to start off with. There. So we got our three uprights. So these are going to be three poles that are going to be one here, one here, and one here. So now we have to look at our stick and how long it is. As you can see, they're about 20 centimeters long. So with what I've determined with as wide as these are, because the three D's together are about an extra centimeter and we don't want to stick out two over the edge so we're going to make the fence length 18 centimeters so we need 18 four times so we need four nine centimeter strips now again whatever size your things are that's what you're going to make yours to be
four of these. Three of these. Now, we build our fence. Said we're gonna do two kinds of fence. You got this kind, which is a standard fence, and then we want the one that's gonna have a little bit over the top that we're gonna put the barbed wire on. So, again, we're going back to the skewers. And instead, we're gonna do five and a half. So. So we're going to let these dry and we're going to spin up some wire while we're waiting to make the fencing that's going to go on top. So to make the wire, I just took a piece of wire uh, about two yards, about two yards long, folded it in half and stuck part of it through a washer that I could mount to something hard. And I took the other half and stuck it through another washer, bent it over and made a loop. And then I just pulled it taut and just spun my paintbrush with it taut until I got about the tightness of the loop I wanted. So this is about where I wanted to be. Then we're just going to take this and we're going to put it around um, like a pencil. and make ourselves and that will be our razor wire so we'll mount that on top just to hold it down until the glue sets. Okay, we have our two fences, they're done. Great. We're gonna put them on our bases here. And this is where we're gonna use our hot glue. We're just gonna use just a touch. Got it high heat. Instantaneous. And we're just going to add concertina wire. And this is really simple. I'm just going to hook one end. There we go. Then we're on to base and painting. 
And we're just taking a brush. All right. Okay. Okay. So we've got our fences, and these are based in like a terracotta brown. Um, I'm gonna actually at the end show you three different versions. One I based in black. One I based in this brown, and another I based in in a gray. Um, and I just want to show you the difference in what the basing will do for your final effects. You can decide what you're making for yours. Um, so I went with a terracotta brown because it's a like kind of a rusty color. Now if I was doing my minis, I'd be using that wet palette I showed you last week. But in this case, we're not going for fine blending or not going for anything like that. So we're just getting some gray paint, not loading the brush up, but getting some on there. And then we're just kind of Sweeping across. Here we see this fence in action. These 20 centimeter pieces. Um, they work out pretty well. Uh, if you made the city block the way I did, those sticks end up being perfect fit pretty much for two across and two deep. So they fit that 19 inch piece. Um, and as you can see, you know, the flocking is per taste. I did mine with kind of a green, and there's some gravel, and some of these have some static grass on them. If you want them to adjust the concrete, you could do that too. Um, and it doesn't take much to put some variation on them to make them look like other pieces. I mean, like here, you get the set to look like a giant vehicle gate. So it's like a double vehicle gate, opens up, swings wide couple pieces put in to add like a man gate so you can know what mobile gates are. Um, these didn't take long at all to build. Uh, I built a whole bunch of them and painted them up in just a, a day or so. I mean this is, I think I made 12 pieces of fence in total. Uh, four of them with the barbed wire, eight without the barbed wire. Um, your choice, what you like, what you want. I'm going to probably crank it on a bunch more for my game because I, I like the look. Uh, probably more of the barbed wire. I think I've got enough of the regular stuff. But, I mean, these are simple and these really do dress up and make your urban areas look more real. If you're using them for wargaming, I mean, end to end, they're a nice barricade that doesn't block sight but does block movement. So, 
these these will work for you so again it's all about epicking your board making your players go wow and that's what we got here so we'll see you next time uh, with a new project and uh, game on